I'm just going to run you through the best way to mix our silvers mix. So obviously with this mix, it's a little bit different to the commercial mixes where they're pellet based and they'll take on a lot of water. With this, it's got a lot of particles such as crushed em, coriander, you know, salts and stuff like that and sugars that are going to enhance the ground bait and obviously attract them silverfish into your peg. So you've got to mix it a little bit different. You don't want to just over wet it like you do with some of the other mixes and pile that water in there. So starting off, if I take a kilo of ground bait to a kilo of ground bait you're probably going to want to add about a pint pint and a half of water to start with so i've probably about two pint in there if i give it about a pint pint and a half of water it'll bring it to sort of what i would call a medium mix so not mega um damp not mega dry just make sure you get enough water in so all them particles can actually absorb it so I'm going to give that a little turn round and then I'm quickly, obviously now I would leave that to set, but just to show you, I'll click, quickly run it through the riddle, pass it through the riddle and you can see if it's, if it's sticking through the riddle at this point, you've probably added too much water. So I'm going to riddle most of it, get them lumps out, just keep turning it, little shake, try and do this as quickly as possible. And what you'll be left with is quite a, well, it's a fine mix anyway, but something that you can squeeze together. Now that is absolutely perfect for me, but it's gonna dry out. So next time round, leave that to set for sort of 10, 15 minutes. Let them particles absorb it. Make sure that your crushed emp's not gonna float and things like that, just let it absorb the water. Come back to it, and then second time round, just literally, add a tiny bit of water at a time and just get it to whatever consistency you want consistency wise if you're fishing for skimmers you might want it a little bit damper a little bit more inert if you're fishing for roach you want to leave it on the drier side that means that it's a little bit more active them little particles of coriander are going to float up little bits of hemp float up and that's going to attract the fishing after about 15 minutes of being in the water the mix will then settle down but that initial attraction of bait coming off the bottom that's what's going to draw them fish into your peg so mixing wise don't go too heavy on the water keep it nice and simple little bit at a time you can probably put a pint pint and a half in to start with to get it going and get it somewhere near but then after that just add little bits until you're happy with it